All right, I'm on hole number eight of the Frosty Peaks tournament. I'm in the practice round. These holes are all going to be on Groomberg slopes. Hole number eight. All right. Now, okay. If you don't want to do the, there is some risk involved in trying to get down to the lower tier. Um, and the risk is over here. You could end up epic failing if you get this shot out of control. Um, you could end up in the sand over here. There's a couple spots you can end up that you may have a little bit of difficulty trying to get to the hole, but as long as you can stay out of that water, you might be all right. I have overdrove this and ended up in the water behind it. Just caught it just right. So there are some risks going down there, but if you've got lower developed stuff, the way to play this is to play from the top of the hill. It's a sniper. It's a QB shot up to the top of the hill. And I think the shot going down to the cup, I was doing like a 40% wind adjustment, and I'm not sure that it shouldn't be more if you were coming from up here, coming down. I'm going to try and make it over to the other side with a power three ball. I know with a power five ball, you can get up into this area and you can, it's, it's there. I'm not even, I, I can't remember if you have to do overpower with the power five ball. I'm not even sure if it's possible to get down there with a power three ball, but I'm pretty sure it is. I think it is. I hope it is. <laughs> Tells you how much I, I've, these particular holes, these Grimberg holes, I really only played them in tournaments. I haven't played them a lot just out on the course other than like in the practice, you know, the session before the tournament, sometimes they, they used to put them into like a tour five or a tour six or a tour four or whatever so that we could play them in practice. When they first came out, we got to practice them. But now you have to pay for practice. I'm not sure that they've come out with a way yet where we can actually buy these practice tokens. I know that you can earn them through the, the rewards every day in what used to be the pin chest. I don't think I can even get up there. Maybe. I'm going to take that wind out. Or I'm going to at least address the wind I can see. And I hit it 75 thousand rings great to the left it won't even clear right here definitely easier to take that shot with a bigger power ball you can actually get out there with a bigger power ball i don't know that you have to do overpower i'm sure you still do but Very nicely done. And they were coming at it from the other side using that fairway and curling it back around. That was a great way to come at it. Great way. Great. Right at Max Club. The Max backspin on it. I'm here to tell you that's a lot of backspin on this club. Three point one. Okay, I just need to hit this perfect, and that sucker's going in the hole. Oh, and that was not perfect. <laughs> that wasn't even close to perfect. I think there was somewhere between 70 and 80,000 rings great to the left is where I was at. From where I was, I should have done, you should do a big wind adjustment here too. Nice. 
Nice, nice shot. Burger and fries, that's what I'm talking about. All right, that was disappointing on that hole. Let's, let's, let's play that hole again. Let's play that one more time. Oh no, I wanna see what I can get down there, see what that looks like going down there. Let's let's play this hole one more time. This is the benefit of this practice round stuff is we can play it again. Let's go out there and see if I can catch the drive just so I can see what's possible to get down there. And I really am not so sure that an APOC, yeah, we still have that tailwind going, that's good. My, my opponent came from way over here and used curl to bring it around. And on these types of shots, I am a bigger fan of using some kind of curl. Because even if you hit it great to the left or the right, if you've got curl and side spin all going in one direction, the ball's still going to go in that direction. Must be trying to lay up up at the top. Laying it up up at the top. That is the smart move. Because you're going to get the same shot over and over. I'm going to switch to my number five bag. And I'm going to leave the wind in. Get it one ring great to the left. And that should be, I should make my landing spot here. And now it's just a matter of where I end up. Do I clear it and then get some roll out and get caught? Just weaving the, just weaving it. So you can get up there with a three with tailwind using the tailwind on my side. You can just barely make it. Now an extra mile, you're losing a little bit of raw distance, but you have more tops in to try and get you down there. But it's, it's difficult to clear the the sand and the rough back here and then miss this one. It's that tight little thread the needle. I would definitely do 40% if I was up there. Great to the left will be way to the left. And they under pulled it. Now the thing is, is that these, some of these shots right here are not gimmies. Okay, I'm hedging my bet. Hit perfect. If the wind comes in, it'll come in on the dead center and did push it over just a little but not much all right that's how to get the eagle on that hole <laughs> there we go all right that was hole number eight was that hole number eight it was hole number eight all right thanks for watching